Hello, I'm Karen Ginoni. This is Outside Source. More good news on vaccines against the coronavirus. We'll have the latest on the US election for you as well. And also coming up... Well, let's begin with some good news. U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer says the latest data suggests its coronavirus vaccine is even more effective than we first thought. Protests came as German lawmakers debated a bill to give government greater powers to issue social distancing rules, require masks in public and to close stores and other venues to slow the spread. The bill easily passed both the upper and the lower houses of Germany's parliament and was fast-tracked to the country's president, who has now signed off on it. Well, from Germany to Italy, because it's registered more than 34,000 new daily cases and 753 new deaths. Italy has the second highest death toll in Europe behind the UK. Mark Lowen, ministers in the UK are looking at whether they can relax coronavirus restrictions in December so families can celebrate Christmas together. On that, here's our health editor, Hugh Pym. Hugh Pym. Well, we'll finish our coronavirus update in Australia. Since the start of the pandemic, it's recorded just 907 deaths, fewer than 28. Under the new rules, only one person per household will be able to leave home each day and only for specific purposes. Outdoor exercise will be prohibited. Pubs, restaurants, cafes and most shops will close, as well as schools and universities. Shai McKinnon. Now to the US, where President Trump has fired a top election official who contradicted his claims of voter fraud in the election. Chris Krebs was the head of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, known as CISA. He was dismissed. It's worth pointing out that President Trump's claims about voter fraud in the election have been unsubstantiated and a number of his lawsuits have already been dismissed in court. We'll have an update on some of the legal cases that are going on shortly. But first, this is the statement as the head of CISA, part of the Department for Homeland Security, Mr. Krebs has become the public face of the efforts to prevent interference in the election campaign. Here he is in a video posted before the election talking about the organization's rumor control page. The website debunks various claims of election fraud, many of which have been amplified by the president himself. The way and he's not the only official to be fired by Mr. Trump after his defeat. The Defence Secretary Mark Esper was fired last week. And both those dismissals will leave gaps in the country's security structure. Here's Marcus Fowler, a cybersecurity expert who's worked for the CIA. One challenge argued that Republican poll watchers were kept too far away from where the votes were being counted so they couldn't properly observe. There had been a six-feet perimeter around vote counters because of COVID concerns. But the state Supreme Court yesterday ruled that election officials had acted appropriately. Now, the Trump campaign has also announced that it will be seeking a partial recount in the state. Let's just bring you one line up from the AFP news agency regarding coronavirus and the United States. We've just learned that New York City public schools are to close from Thursday. That is because of the spread of the virus. Uh, the mayor has just come out and announced that uh, the schools, the public schools, uh, the state schools in New York City will be closing from Thursday over the virus spread. You remember New York York was hit so very hard in the first wave of coronavirus. But let's just remind you of our main story, a good development, uh, good news that the coronavirus vaccine developed by Pfizer and BioNTech appears to protect 94% of adults over 65 years old. It's even more effective than previously thought. I'll be back in a few minutes time. Stay with me on Outside Source. The U.S. regulator, the Federal Aviation Authority, has given the Boeing 737 MAX airliner permission to fly again, nearly two years after it was grounded following two fatal... And our main story, the latest data from Pfizer shows that its vaccine is even more effective than previously thought. Thanks for watching. Outside Source, I'll be back at the same time tomorrow.